in continuation with our last video now let's see how to calculate the yield of a bond in between the coupon periods last video we saw how to calculate yield on a bond given on the exact coupon date now we will see how to calculate yield in a period that is in between coupons right so when the day is in between coupon then the concept of dirty price comes in now let's see this example a bond at face value of 1000 issue date is 14 september 2011 maturity date is 14 september 2014 settlement date that is the date on which the bond is bought is 3 3rd july 2017 the bond has a coupon of 12.25 percent it's an annual coupon paying bond so the number of coupons in a year is one and the price the quoted market price is 1074.5 now this price is also called as dirty price why is it called dirty price the reason being the seller of the bond is entitled to the coupon from the last coupon date which is 14 september 2012 remember every year the bond will pay coupon on 14 September. So last coupon would have happened on 14 September 2012. And from last coupon that is 14 September till 3rd July, the person who is selling the bond has held the bond. So he is entitled to receive the coupon. However, when he is selling it, only the buyer will receive the entire year's coupon. So at the time of buying itself, the buyer has to give the accrued coupon to the seller of the bond. So this price includes actual bonds price, bonds price plus something called accrued interest. So to find the actual bonds price, the accrued interest has to be subtracted from the price seen on the screen. At least in the Indian context, we always quote dirty prices. The NCDs in the market always quote dirty prices. So before calculating yield to maturity, we have to subtract the accrued interest. So let's see how to calculate the accrued interest. So between the last coupon day and the present day, how many coupon days have passed? So to find this, we have a simple formula called coup days, C-O-U-P, D-A-Y, D-S. So what does this mean? Coup days BS returns the number of days from the beginning of the coupon period to the settlement period. So beginning of the coupon period is 14 September 2012 and today is 3 7 2013. So the difference between these two days will tell us how many days have passed since last coupon. Let's find that. So settlement date. 3 7 2013 that is on the date on which the bond is being bought and the bond matures on 14 September 2012 frequency is the number of coupons per annum so which is 1 and basis is actual by actual so we put 1 so 292 days have passed since last coupon let's find out how many days are there in between two coupon days so for that, the function we have to use is coup days, C-O-U-P, D-A-Y, yes, coup days and settlement, today's date, maturity is 14 September 2012, number of coupons per year, frequency is 1 and basis is actual by actual. So there are total 365 days in this coupon period, out of which 292 have passed. So the percentage of coupon days that have passed is 292 divided by 365 which is 80%. So what is the total coupon for the period? Coupon for the period will be given by face value into coupon percentage divided by number of coupons per year. In this case it is 1 whereas if it is semi-annual then you have to divide by 2. So the bond is entitled to 122.5 rupees of coupon per annum out of which 80% has passed. So 122.5 into 80% is 98 
which is the coupon that is in that the seller of the bond is entitled for. So the clean price is nothing but dirty price minus coupon. So the clean price is only 977. So 977 is the price of the bond. Remaining 98 is accrued interest. So to calculate yield, you have to always use clean price. Let's do this. Yield settlement date 3 2013. Maturity is on 14 September 2014. Rate is the coupon rate which is 12.25. Price, you need to remember you have to always give price of a 100 rupee face value bond. So if it is a 1000 rupee face value bond, then it has to be divided by 10 to get the 100 price of a 100 rupee bond. So the clean price is 977 divided by 10 gives me price of a 100 rupee face value bond. Redemption is 1000 divided by 10 which gives me 100 rupee face value bond. Frequency is number of coupons per year which is 1 and basis is actual by actual. So which gives me a yield of 14.39% on this bond with the clean price.